Hello, hello. Hey, Koei family. I am really excited to talk to you about the movie I went to go see today, which was Bullet Train. Now, I don't know about you, but I was super excited to go and see this movie. I've been waiting for it since the summer, since I saw the very last trailer. It's got all of my favorite actors. You've got Brad Pitt, in a comedic setting, which ever since like Snatch and Ocean's Eleven, and then just recently I saw him in The Lost City and he was just absolutely hilarious. You also have Andrew Koji from Warrior. Um, you got Brian Tyree Henry from Atlanta, The Eternals. And then you have Aaron Taylor Johnson, which <laughs> so many things. This movie was fantastic. I don't know why it has a 56% rating on Rotten Tomatoes because it's really fun. I don't know what people were expecting. I got exactly what I was expecting. It was gonna be fast paced, hilarious, good time. And that is exactly what I got. Brad Pitt didn't disappoint. The action was fantastic. The back and forth banter between all the characters, the, the comedic settings, it was just great. Y you got like Sandra Bullock, who we knew she was in the trailer, but um, to see her, pop in at the very last minute, um, actually in person. We heard her voice for a lot of the movie, but it was great to see her and Brad Pitt in the movie again together. I, I thought the storyline was fun. The only thing I think that people are like mad about or, and I'm totally could be speculating on this, but it felt like a Guy Ritchie film. The only thing that would have made it better is if Guy Ritchie had actually directed this movie. But David Lettich, I think that's his name. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm really sorry. David Lettich was the director and it, it was hilarious. It was an amazing movie. Like it's a bullet train. First of all, they're on a train, a fast moving train going to Kyoto, Japan. And the mission is Brad Pitt just coming off of a long, you know, I'm assuming break from doing his regular job, which is like snatch and grab. And he decides to take this job back, right? All he has to do is grab a briefcase. That's it, that's, that's the whole mission. Except of course, that's not the mission. Or rather, there's a lot of other people that also have a side mission. You have Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry who play Lemon and Tangerine, and they are transporting Logan Lerman, <laughs> who he just appeared in the movie. They're transporting Logan Lerman back to his father who he has been kidnapped and they are carrying the briefcase. They brought the briefcase on board and it contains $10 million. Sounds easy, right? They recovered the kid, they got the $10 million, and now they're good to go, right? <laughs> Lemon and Tangerine, who are these two uh, quote unquote twins, but love each other like brothers, and their relationship was so much fun. I love the banter between the two of them, but I just love Aaron Taylor Johnson. And honestly, I need him to continue on in a saga because I'm not gonna give you like terrible spoilers, but I would like to see more of him. And I would love to see more of these two characters together. There was only one thing I think this movie may have been missing outside of like, listen, the glaring. There are certain things that obviously this is not set in reality. These things would not happen. But I do think I personally needed Samuel L. Jackson, especially because there's one moment where there's this running bit where there is a snake. <laughs> so you got snakes on a train. I think that was a missed opportunity. You got snakes on a plane. We're obviously never gonna get a sequel to snakes on a plane, but there's a snake on a train. So if I could have got a cameo of Samuel L. Jackson, that would have made the whole movie, but it doesn't happen. I don't wanna get your hopes up. I'm just saying, it was a missed opportunity. So if there is a bullet train too, can we please get another snake and please get Samuel L. Jackson to at least be riding in the train? That's all I'm saying. But <laughs> other than that, I thought all the action was a lot of fun. There's a lot of knife work in this movie that a lot of times, you know, knife work just gets to be clumsy and boring, but not only was it not, it was entertaining. And the way that they used this briefcase, the way that Brad Pitt used the briefcase as like a shield slash weapon in and of itself was just fantastic. The fight choreography I thought was really good. It was really strong and it kept me invested and engaged in the story the entire time. I thought that the CG 
at times was a little bit, it was a little cheesy. This might be a spoiler, but I think you probably know the train is gonna crash at some point. Those CG elements were a little bit weak for me, but I, it didn't take it didn't take me away from the movie. It didn't take me out of the movie in any way, shape, or form. Because at that point, I was invested. This is the way that it goes. This is what's happening. The formula is clear and I am on this train with them. So um, I do think that it was still very exciting. <laughs> the costumes were fun. Certain characters came in and out that A, I didn't know they were gonna be there. And I'm not gonna tell you there is a cameo that I know you're gonna love just because he's utterly ridiculous. I'm not gonna tell you. Who. But I forgot that Zazie Beetz was supposed to be in this because I saw her in the trailer, but then she pops up again and is just really refreshing and fun to see her in this assassin type role. I thought that there were parts of it that were a little bit confusing as to when the actual thread of why we're on this journey is revealed to the audience. There is a character who is the mastermind of this whole thing. Once I understood what his reasoning was, I was like, okay, I can kind of see that, but I had to work for it because I don't know if it was because they were talking really fast or if it was just because normally I can keep up with the best of them, but it just was a little bit muddied. But once I actually understood why things happened the way that they did, why they unfolded, I thought it was really interesting because it kind of reminded you of this like, oh, you remember this one part? Oh, this one part over here. And we talked about this thing and they give you these flashback moments to draw you in and to remind you and help Help you along to understand why we're on the train, why everything had to unfold the way that it did. Did the flashbacks get a little bit tiresome? At times, but I also don't think that they bothered me. It was just more of like, you could just tell me the story, you know? If you told me the story clearer, then I wouldn't need all these extraneous flashbacks. But again, at that point, I really didn't care. I was just having a really good time. At the end of the day, I don't think it took away from anything. Okay, really quick, last thing I wanna say, I wanna tell you about my thoughts on the ending without telling you the ending, because I want you to go and see the movie. I don't want y'all mad at me, like, she gave it away. I am not giving it away, no spoilers. But I am gonna say that I thought that it was tied together nicely. All the characters that met up during this movie, I thought they had a wonderful ending. I thought that given what this movie was, which was just an action-packed hell of a good time, I thought that everyone was given a clear cut ending slash could potentially keep going if y'all like this movie, and I thoroughly did, I would love to see a bullet train too. I thought that what they did at the end came together nicely. I think you'll like it too. So go and see it. Oh, I do wanna say one thing, cause no one ever tells you these things. You don't have to stay to the very end. There's nothing at the end of the credits but don't leave when you think the credits are beginning because there is a little bit of a mid credit thing. I think you'll wanna see that. So that's all I got on Bullet Train. I had a good time and I think you, uh, you'll have a good time too. So go and check it out. Bye.